All right, guys, welcome back to Athletic Every Day, day number 114. Man, this summer weather is keeping up, and I am going to keep on working out shirtless as long as the sun is out. It is so good for you to work out outside with the sun on your skin. Obviously, if you don't overdo it, uh, you can get sunburn and skin cancer. Especially 45 minutes to an hour is definitely going to do more good than harm, especially for your mental health, especially for just making you feel overall good. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but whenever it is summertime, I always feel a lot better. I always feel like, um, just mentally, I feel like in a lot better place. And as an upper body workout, this went pretty well. Uh, I managed to get a couple sets of four with a slightly higher weight on my split jerks. I'm well aware that my progress on split jerks is going to be a lot slower because I am alternating the split stance. But, you know, I'm not trying to train for a weightlifting competition anytime soon. I just, I really just want something close to balance along both legs you know maybe i'll be able to get to you know a 140 or 150 clean and jerk faster if i just train splitting one way but you know i feel like that's gonna increase your risk of injury or you know you'll get more of an imbalance that way so you know i'm happy to you know split jerk a little bit less in the meantime but also be able to split equally well off of both both legs and have equally as good technique both ways so uh, yeah, split jerks today, I managed to get sets of four with 90 for, I think it was two sets, it might have been three sets actually. And I am getting a lot more consistent on the width of the split. I'm generally tending to, or in the past, I would tend to split a lot closer together. I wouldn't jump my front foot out far enough, but I think I'm starting to get better and better at split jerking wider apart of my legs and also getting a bit deeper, which means obviously I'll be able to push myself a little bit under the bar a lot faster. I know you're supposed to push the bar up. It's a combination of you going down and the bar going up when you get into that split jerk position. But obviously the lower you get, the more weight you're going to be able to jerk overhead. So for 90 kilos, that's not too bad. I mean, my max jerk is 120. I, I got pretty close to a 125, but I didn't give myself it because the, uh, the lockout was not there and it didn't feel good. But, you know, hopefully we'll be able to work up to a heavier split jerk in the future. That one there was a good one because you can actually see when my feet uh, uh, land. The back foot is supposed to supposed to land ever so slightly before the front foot. But I feel like generally, like on that one there you just saw, my front foot is landing just a touch before my back foot, if not maybe at the same time. And with the weighted pull-ups, I was actually supersetting these two exercises together. Originally on the program, it was supposed to be muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups, uh, either sets of three or set of five but i've still got a weird kind of injury in the heel of my hand which means that the false grip and the transition between like the pulling grip and the false grip uh, really does not feel good on my right hand so i'm having to do something else some kind of pulling exercise so this is actually quite a good superset to be honest with you guys uh, weighted pull-ups and split jerks i really enjoyed it and i feel like again it's what well, it's an antagonistic superset Maybe you're getting a little bit of upper back activation from, you know, the split jerk and that could potentially be interfering with the pull-ups, but uh, I didn't feel like I was any weaker on the pull-ups. If anything, I felt quite strong on pull-ups. Well, I guess these are actually chin-ups. I did three sets of, I don't know, four sets, uh, two sets of three with 45 kilos and then one set of three with 40 kilos and then one set of, one set of three with 20 kilos. So again, not super duper high volume today. Uh, I originally planned to do six sets, but I knew that that wasn't happening today. And really, I wanted to save a lot of my pulling strength. And, you know, I, although split jerk is a predominantly upper body exercise, well, it's actually a predominantly lower body exercise. Um, I wanted to save my legs for tomorrow when I do my, my heavy cleans, when I go for my six sets of one heavy cleans, see how heavy I can get for that. And that's the thing with training every day, guys. You've got to sort of look a bit further ahead into the future because what you do today is going to impact how fresh you are feeling for tomorrow so that's one of the main things i've learned from training with very very high frequency literally every day um, and potentially you know in the future as i get better at this maybe going into two days is that you have to mind your volume and also mind the intensity you have to mind how much training load you're putting onto your body because there's too much stress is going to affect your body's ability to recover from the workout so for the, for the moment, I'm quite happy doing high intensity and lower volume sessions with a little bit of pump work at the end, um, especially on upper body, well, only on upper body sessions where I'll do, you know, accessories like these loo raises and then some lateral raises and maybe some, you know, tricep extensions. That's enough for me to keep me tidied over. And I feel like this is enough stimulus. Well, it's in that perfect zone to be just the right amount of a stimulus to trigger a positive adaptation, but not so little that it doesn't produce any adaptation. 
So yeah, the Lou Razors felt good. I only did like two sets of these, a couple sets of Lou Razors, and then finished them up going to failure, or not failure, but going to pretty close to failure on the lateral raises, and then just a couple sets of tricep extensions. Got my body feeling good. Upper body felt really, really nice. Pump work and um, kind of like high rep sets towards the end of a workout. You'd think that they're going to fatigue your body too much and that it's going to completely fry your nervous system, um, especially with like slow eccentrics. But, you know, the load on these exercises, it's my body weight or like five kilos in each hand. Um, it's really not going to be that much to recover from. And as my body adapts and gets stronger over time, um, you know, I'll have more and more increased recovery capital as I go on. Anyway, that is pretty much it for me today with my workout. I did finish up with a little bit of aesthetic showing off here. Uh, I wasn't able to get like the best lighting in my garage because, you know, when there's quite harsh overhead light outside, there's no good position. But then I found that the light just in front of my garage was pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Damn, flexing is hard.